Hey everyone, in the news this week, the Welsh Government's going to be introducing a mandatory 20 mile an hour speed limit, and in response Chris Rea has said he's going to have to update one of his songs to Driving Home for Easter. There's also some pretty bad weather out there, and with all the strong winds I'm quite concerned about the caravan in my garden, largely because it wasn't there until a few days ago. Also, Rupert Murdoch finally announced his retirement plans this week after a career lasting over 70 years. Highlights include the eradication of good UK governance, the wholesale destruction of US bipartisanship, getting Sky Television to make sure there was no longer football or cricket on normal television, and that time in the 80s when he thought he was buying the publishing rights to Hitler's diaries. He was recently and briefly married to Jerry Hall, although it does make you wonder if he thought Jerry Hall was a hall that the Jerrys kept the diaries in. But I guess finally, Russell Brand, well he turned out to have been a bit dubious, who would have thought that? I've got a neighbour whose dog acts a bit like him, trying to get on anything it moves, it's a Jack Russell Brand. Anyway, he's also facing secondary degree charges for crimes against comedy and acting. A number of people have come to his defence mind and said that they'll stand by him, although that's largely because standing by him is far safer than lying down, allegedly. Apparently he was into swinging, and 50 quid says that by the end of next month it'll be from a tree at the end of his garden. If I was his lawyer though, I'd just recommend calling all his accusers transphobic, that seems to get you out of any sort of trouble these days. Like how some said that that Lucy Letby was an incel. Oh wait, no, I'd misread that, she's in a cell. Anyway, never mind. Anyway, see you next week. Please click subscribe. Bye.